So I've come out into the garden where there's no Wi-Fi infrastructure and I've put the web enabled, not web enabled really now, but the access point here with the green LED on it on the log pile and I've got my Nexus 7 tablet here and I'm just going to test the range. Now the LED isn't very bright and it's impossible to see it out here. But I'm going to walk away, switch it on and then walk back and see if it works. So there's the log pile right at the bottom of the garden. Let's go to the tablet, turn the LED on. Okay, that says it's on. Let's check the LED. And uh, yeah, the green LED is on there. Let's just do, I'll do a slightly longer range test this time to try and turn it off again. So I'm slightly further back now, um, probably about, I don't know, 80 feet or something like that. Now on my tablet, if I can get this to focus up in the top right, the Wi-Fi signal is reasonably strong, about half power. Okay, let's turn the green LED off. I haven't got a confirmation of that. Let's try that again. I have got a confirmation now, it's saying it's off, yeah. And that LED is indeed now off. So certainly range doesn't seem to be a problem. It works uh, at quite a good distance. So this is now just a remote controlled LED. It's Wi-Fi controlled and it's using a browser to uh, conduct that control, but it's not web enabled. Now, is there anything that uh, we can do to remedy that? So here's a brief conversation I've been having with uh, Greg G. And he says, if you change soft AP to station AP, the web server will, what does he say, appear on both 192.168.4.1. And also you can access it from the assigned IP when it joins your home AP. I think we'll give that a try. Now this is documented in the wiki for Node MCU. It's Wi-Fi set mode mode. If I click on that, you can see that we've got three types, Wi-Fi dot station, Wi-Fi dot soft AP, which is the one I've been using, or Wi-Fi dot station AP. And if you've played with the uh, AT commands in the original firmware, then you may recognize this as uh, CW mode equals three the soft AP plus station. It does both of them at the same time. So I'm going to change the first line here in the Lua code from Wi-Fi.softAP to Wi-Fi.station station AP. That may need to be in capitals. And then save that to the ESP. I guess it should overwrite the uh, original init.lua. So I guess that must have overwritten the uh, original init.lua because that's now reading 1209 bytes. That's three bytes longer than it was. So now I can control the LED in infrastructure mode. So it is a web enabled LED. If I look at my Wi-Fi, I'm actually connected to Git HQ, which is my home Wi-Fi connection. Uh, I had to go to my router to find that the IP address is 192.168.1.122 but I can now turn the LED off. It's quite slow and it's quite slow to update this line here and turn it on. And on appears there. So that works. But I can also change the Wi-Fi on the tablet to test which is this access point let's connect to that connecting connected and then go back to the browser and now I need to go to 192.168 uh, which one is it this one so 192.168.4.1 and once again I can control the LED. This is in AP mode. Off and on. So that's both modes.